today's video we are back at the range and today we are out here doing an out-of-the-box review on the gerson mc p35 ops full disclosure i have shot this gun i did get the optic zeroed in already and i did take the gun apart before i brought it to the range and i did clean it and lube it because i don't like just taking them right out of the box and shooting them if that's your game go ahead and do what you want to do i personally every gun i buy i tear it down i clean it oil it and then bring it to the range for the first shots now the reason i'm calling this the out of the box review is because it's got the far dot on it that we covered in the unboxing video and this dot is going to be coming off this gun but i want to do this review because if you're going to buy it use this red dot and shoot it right out of the box this is what you're going to get so that's how we're going to do this first review now if you have not watched the unboxing video we went over all the specs on this gun everything that comes in the box and all that stuff was covered in that video and i will link that in the description below all right let's get some rounds down range and see what we think about the gerson mc p35 ops all right we got 10 rounds loaded up we got the 124 grain barry's bullets loaded up in here these are my reloads they are sitting on top 4.8 grain cfe pistol i believe i got this dot zeroed in good enough we'll just have to see like i said this dot's coming off so let's shoot a 10 shot group at the top right target All right, pretty terrible group. First group of the day. Let's hope it gets a little better. All right, let's talk about the red dot that comes with the gun. Now this is the 4MOA far dot. And like I said in the unboxing video, there are no brightness adjustments or anything like that on it. Now it is super sunny out today. It's actually a really nice day here in Ohio. And, uh, I'm not having a problem seeing it. It could be a little bit brighter. So I just want to cover all this in case someone's going to buy this gun with this optic and just run it right out of the box. Um, it's going to work for what you need it to do. It's not bad. It's just, it's not the best. My personal opinion, if you can buy this gun optics ready without a dot and then take that extra money you save and put it towards a better red dot that would be my recommendation all right we got 10 more rounds loaded up let's shoot a group at the top left target all right seem to be going a little bit right I don't know about this optic. I don't know if it's me or the gun or the optic, but it's not grouping the best. I'll warm up to it though. Only shot 20 rounds through this gun. Well, about 25. It, caught, it took me about five rounds to sight it in, so I'm sure I'm going to get used to it. All right, we got one more target left down at the bottom left. See if we can get a little bit better group this time. All right, that was a little bit better group. Kept seven of them inside the diamond, but we did drop three a little low to the right. This gun is, uh, it feels really, really good in the hand. It fits my hand great. Let me drop this mag out of here. Now in the unboxing video, we talked about this trigger and it's got a super nice crisp break on this trigger and your take up, that's all you got right there. Just that little bit of take up and a nice clean break. But on the reset, 
The reset is not tactile at all. It's definitely not audible, but you gotta let it all the way out to right there. And then you got that break. Now, in the unboxing video, I was like, oh, I'm not a big fan of it, but now that I'm out here shooting it, I'm noticing it not bothering me at all. But uh, the red dot, I just don't like this red dot. Shooting low right, and I have noticed that the dot is getting loose now that's my fault i should have took it off put some loctite on it but like i said i just wanted to get it out of the box and shoot it i do have my tools here we'll torque this down a little bit i'm not going to take it back off and loctite it but uh something to keep in mind when you buy it put some loctite on your screws tighten it down to about 18 inch pounds that's what i do with all my dots and then i never have an issue with them all right i tightened the dot down I don't have a torque wrench, so I just kind of guessed it today. But um, let's shoot a group top left target, see what happens. All right. That was our best group yet. We still had a couple off to the right, but... Uh, I'll take it. All right, let's talk about the gun. What do I think of the gun? I love the way it feels in my hand. I love these grips. I love these G10 grips that are on this gun. My pinky fits perfect right there in the front of that magwell. So I get a really nice grip on the gun. Feels really, really good in the hand. So I got really big hands too. So this is really nice. It's, if it was just a quarter inch shorter, not so much, but the grip, the frame, it just fits my hand perfect. Really happy with that. All right, got 10 more rounds loaded up. Let's shoot a group at the bottom right target. All right, getting used to it. Yeah, I don't have any gun remotely like this. It's all steel frame. I really like the recoil impulse on it. It feels great. And like I said, it feels great in the hand. It's super smooth operating. And the trigger, I'm not noticing that reset at all. Groups are getting better. I'm getting used to it. We've got almost a 100 round box of ammo through it now. We're probably sitting around 70 some rounds. So we'll shoot a couple more groups and we'll keep talking about it. All right, since we've been shooting reloads through it all day, I did bring out a box of 115 grain Remington UMC. We're gonna shoot 15 rounds of this UMC with it because they are 15 round mags. I went over all that in the unboxing video, but I don't think we've talked about it yet in this video. So for everybody that doesn't reload, let's run 15 rounds of factory ammo through it, see how it does. So far that gun's running flawless. We have not had one hiccup with it. All right, I wanna show you how easy these mags are to load. Like I said, they are a 15 round capacity magazine. So, I don't have a loader out here with me today. So we're gonna do it the old fashioned way, but they're not a super stiff mag, kind of like you get with SIG. What I did notice when I filled one up, other than the very last round was a little bit hard to get in, but they're uh, very easy to load. One of the easier mags I've loaded up to full capacity. So that might be it. Let me see here. Yep. So there's the 15. And uh, no problem at all getting them in there. Still got a little bit of play there with that last round. Really nice.
All right, we're not gonna call this my final thoughts. We're gonna call this my initial thoughts. What do I think about the MC P35 Ops from Gerson? I really, really like the gun. The gun's awesome. It's a beautiful gun. It's very manageable recoil. It's the steel frame, the grips. I love everything about the gun. So I know I harped a little bit on the red dot, but it's coming off, no big deal. We're gonna shoot a lot more videos with this gun. I've found a few lights in my collection that work on this, so I'm gonna do another video, show you what lights are compatible with this rail. We're obviously changing out the red dot. We're putting a Gideon Optics on there, so I'll give you a little teaser of what's going on this thing. Um, other than that, I don't have anything bad to say about the gun. The gun ran flawless. We ran Barry's bullets through it. We ran Brass Monkey bullets through it. I think we even ran a mag of Summit Cities through it. So all my reloads are fine. So for all the people that watch my channel that are reloaders, this thing loves eating reloaded ammo. The Remington UMC factory rounds. We ended up shooting two mags of those through it. One you got to see and then one was in the, uh, the B-roll footage. So we ran 30 rounds of 115 grain Remington UMC factory ammo through it. It ate it all. So we have not had one light primer strike, no failures to feed, no nothing. Gun runs perfect. So really, really like this gun so far. And I think it's going to grow on me and I'm going to love it even more. The more videos and the more rounds I shoot with this thing. So, well, I want to thank Aim Surplus. I was having a really hard time getting my hands on this specific model. This was the exact model I wanted and AIM Surplus was able to get it for me. They held it for me until I got down there for AIM Day to do some filming with them. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out AIM Surplus, check them out. Brian, Josh, all them guys over there, man, they are just super cool dudes. And I love doing business with them, love talking with them. So check them out. And, uh, a lot more videos to come. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.